Today we're going to attempt to repaint all this here that we touched up and finished up. And first off we have to clean it up. So I'm going to use a uh, good old Dollar Tree stuff there. I'm going to clean this stuff up. Okay, we've got it all prepped up now. And uh, you see we had a rust spot here so we primed that. And we primed this, put new screws in and everything, stainless steel. Uh, taped off the, uh, the lock. So the only thing we're really painting here is the door itself. Because you see, before he put these little chains on it, it had dropped down and um, caught it right here. So we're going to paint the whole thing. Okay. Okay, don't forget to stir your paint up good. He put some uh, paint thinner in there to uh, clean the gun. So what kind of gun is this? Gravity fed. Gravity fed. Yes, we have painted houses in the past and auto painted body. A auto Cars. body, everything. So. He's trying to adjust the uh, Adjust the airflow now. I would normally have a respirator on, but this paint is just enamel paint. Water cleanup. Water cleanup. It's a mild paint. Here, let me hold it. Yeah, I can, I can hold, hold it. it. I don't have a fixture to put it in. Okay. All right. And what he's going to do now is he's going to go over here to our uh, paper that we have on the fence, so he can get his his spray on. Yeah, buddy. It's my luck too. It's me. Every time I say the word paint, the wind blows. And of course, people, if you're doing this in your backyard like we are, um, make sure you're not painting close to your other people's vehicles or your own vehicle or your house. See, he's adjusting his gun. That's pretty thick paint. It's enamel. <coughs> Yeah, we don't. Right Y'all can see the wind's blowing pretty hard, and our air compressor is pretty loud too. Okay, all right, here we go, folks. Y'all know he does this at work, too. So, he knows how to use them paint guns. You see how he's doing it? He goes up and down, and then he goes side to side. That's so he gets even coverage. And it's putting such a thin layer of paint on there that uh, it dries fairly quickly so he can do it multiple times. Yeah, the door's looking really good. It's the places where the hinges are, where we uh, primed it. He may have to come back and put a second coat on that because you don't want to get too much on there because it'll just be all blotchy and look really bad. coverage is pretty good. There's a couple spit spots from the paint, but he says what we can do is we can take some uh, wet sandpaper and sand those little places out once it dries really good, and uh, then we'll put a coat of wax on it, and it'll be fine. Sweet. 
wait. I want to thank y'all for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to leave comments and questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all, free yourselves of the stress. Get out there and enjoy your life.